something special that has been on Spongebob. The plot is very simple. Spongebob is like being called Scaredy Pants and the and then he wants revenge on them and yeah, to scare them back. The best parts of this episode is that the jokes to land in the humor was very, very funny. Parts are the constant guide of calling calling him Scaredy Pants or whatever you would call me. My absolute favorite part is where Patrick said, don't tell me, don't tell me. Here's the clip right here. Oh. No, 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 wait, don't tell me. Don't, don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I can do this. I can do this. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. You can see why I like that part very much. <laughs> it's not the most memorable SpongeBob episode, but... At least, but at least it's a good Halloween special. That's what it's good at. And of course, as always, the animation is very, very well done. Of course, it's hand drawn, it's all animation, so it's very good. I'm also impressed with how they animated the Flying Dutchman, which is very cool because I like the little, little swoosh of them, and it's a little bit transparent too, so it's actually like an actual ghost. I wonder how they did it. <laughs> This was in the last year to 1990s, so they were probably making digital animation or technology, whatever. Because they switched to digital animation to on season 2. Like as always, I like season 1's animation and atmosphere because it's very interesting and nostalgic too. So I get nostalgic for Sleep Time, which is my favorite episode. <laughs> It's an okay episode. I would probably rate it like about like an 8 out of 10 because it wasn't perfect. It's not that good at least. It's not the best episode either. It's just okay. <laughs>